Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. This is your weekend love reading for July 20th through the 22nd, 2018. This is for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what you guys have going on this weekend. I'm going to move this back a little. There we go. Okay. Big shifts in energy um, coming that we've been going through. All sorts of changes. Um, the collective as a whole is moving in the direction of being more awakened. All right. I think we're ready after this shuffle. Yes, we are. All right. So, starting off with the Three of Wands this weekend in the reverse. Um, for some of you, there's a delay in somebody arriving. You could be waiting at somebody from a distance to be coming towards you. Um, there could have been plans of travel to meet up with each other this weekend, and they're being delayed or canceled. Um, and it leaves you with the Four of Cups feeling like Maybe this connection isn't what you thought it was, um, but they're, it's delayed, but not because of you. They, they want to come and see you. They want to be with you, but there's something um, out of their control that, that they can't see you. You may not be aware of this at the time it happens. Um, yeah. Yeah, some of you... Um, you're not seeing what's right in front of you. You're waiting for your, your blessings. You're waiting for your ships to come in, but you're not realizing that your ships are coming in. You're not seeing the blessing that's, um, that's right in front of you because you're concentrating on something that you think is your blessing. So make sure you're aware and paying attention that your blessings are not always what you would expect. They don't look like what you think. They don't talk like, you know, whatever it, the case may be. Um, you, however, are getting um, a new beginning. Uh, could be with an air sign, but most importantly, you're coming out of a fog. You know, your ships couldn't come in because it was too foggy. So you are now um, starting to see the truth behind the the truth behind the whole situation. Um, the wheel of fortune is here in the reverse. Uh, you could be dealing with karma right now, a karmic situation where you feel like you're not the winner. You feel like things are against, you know, the odds are stacked up against you. But, you know, with the wheel of fortune, it's the ups and downs of life. It's everybody has them. Everybody goes through it. Nobody can escape it. No one can escape karma. So, what goes up must come down and the, and the other. So it's just the ebb and flow of life. Things may not be going in your favor right now, but they will begin to change. You're trying to um, manifest something that is not, um, that's not ready to be coming in for you. Also, there's someone in your space who's trying to manipulate you. Be cautious of this. Um, yeah, most definitely could be an earth sign. Um, you're growing impatient with this situation. You want it manifested now. You want what you want and you don't want to wait. But um, everything goes in a season, like with the Wheel of Fortune. You can't skip a step in order for this person to come back to you or to for you to meet this person. Certain things have to happen first. And that's why um, the Three of Wands is in reverse. Um, some of you could be attending a celebration, but you are going to, um, receive some kind of news that, that causes you to be very happy this weekend. Um, I'm hearing ecstatic. So just when you think that, um, you're not getting what you want, you're going to be surprised. You're going to, um, get word of something or someone's going to tell you some kind of news and it's going to excite you. Um, some of you are coming out of financial issues. Uh, 
but most importantly, you're coming out of a time of, of being cold, not necessarily even to anybody else. You have been hurt in the past. We'll just put that out there first. So you kind of turned cold to feeling anything, but you're coming out of that. You're being spiritually awakened um, at a quick rate. Like it's going to happen fast. You've been sitting here waiting for months, bored, tired of waiting, tired of being patient, and uh, tired of your ships not coming in. But there is an earth sign that's going to make a move towards you this weekend that's going to cause extreme happiness. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles here, they were coming all along even though they were moving very slow. As we all know, the Knight is the slowest moving um, night of the deck, but when he does, when they do come, it's going to be something you can hang your hat on. It's going to be something dependable, stable, real, because they took a lot of time to figure out how to get to this point, how to, um, come back into your life. You may be feeling, um, like you're not sure. You don't know if this is real. You don't know if they're here for for good this time or if they're going to take off again. So you're kind of um, approaching this with a with a wall built up um, just because you're scared to invest in the wrong person, in the wrong thing. But you have a new beginning here, a new start, a wiping of the slate with this earth sign um, or somebody with those qualities. And you're taking a leap of faith by the end of the weekend and they're taking a, a leap with you as well. Um, you're going to have a new creative spark with this person. This relationship is going to um, is going to be able to allow the two of you to create the life that you've always wanted. The Queen of Wands. So you could. Um, this person makes you feel very fiery, very sexy, very seductive, very passionate. Like they bring out all your, your positive qualities and just make you feel good about yourself. You've been praying for this for a long time, fire signs, and it is finally here. The feeling of emotional bliss of an even emotional, like you're not all over the place. You're no longer roller coasting. And with the moon card here, you could be dealing with cancer or Pisces. But, um, to me, in this reading, this is the new moon in Cancer. We are in that energy right now. And that's when this person is coming towards you. Um, with this moon cycle, you will find um, you will find yourself being approached by this person that you have been waiting forever on. Um, and they're going to come forward and let you know that they want to start a life with you. Start a relationship based on truth and clarity and they are now crystal clear what they want in the future. And they are um, having the faith to take that leap with you. Angels, what advice do you have for this weekend for our fire signs? Give your relationship a chance. So work on your partnership. Your bottom of the deck is calling in your soulmate. Um, when this person comes in, don't, don't be so quick to put that wall up. Don't be so quick to doubt them that they're here for good because I do see that they are here for good. So make sure you give this a chance to work on this connection that the two of you share because it is an amazing connection, no doubt about it. The advice card that just popped out is the map maker of destiny. Um, authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. So when this person comes back, you have the choice of whether to allow them back in your life or not. If you don't want, that's your free will. That's your choice. Um, but it's now calling you to really figure out what you want because in this energy at this moment, you have the power to turn a, des a destined moment into fate. You have the chance to make this what you want it, to bring this into the 3D, um, because this person brings you back to your authentic purpose. This person brings you back to your soul's purpose, the reason why you're here. It brings you back to the real you, um, and you're really being called to give this relationship a chance because 
this is a beautiful connection filled with success. Um, you guys really have the power to, to take the world by storm if you allow them in. If you take this wall down, take that leap of faith and allow this new start to, to take you where it may. Um, because you've worked hard for this. You've worked hard getting over your past hurts. And you deserve a relationship like this because it is one of just pure beauty and bliss. So fire signs, um, I hope you enjoyed your weekend reading. I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. Make sure you um, like my videos because that is how I release my next order um, of readings. Also, uh, go ahead and comment down below. And I've been trying really hard to get through everyone's comments and writing a reply. Um, if I hit the heart, that means I'm sending you love and light. And um, and I enjoy the exchange of energy with you. So thank you for walking with me on the, my spiritual journey. It would not be the same without you. And with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend filled with love, light, and God bless.